Welcome back. I'm Kristen Hatcher. I'm here with Brad Wardell, and we are uh, showing you how to play Galactic Civilizations 3. Our first video covered uh, how do you even get started playing the game, especially if you've never played a strate strategy game before. Um, this one, what are we going to talk about in this one? We're going to, this is sort of an intermediate level, I would say. Uh, yeah, at this part of the game, we've actually met some aliens. Okay. And we're starting to ramp up uh, our economy and our, we're starting to build a civilization where there's other people to deal with. Right. I see you have four planets already. Yep. Yeah, I have, I'm very happy with that. We still have a colonized Mars. <laughs> right. So I, I had said, you know, we're for Mars, right? Right. <laughs> it's the, it's the redheaded stepchild, I guess. Yes. But I have built, I have researched Xenocommerce. Mm hmm And that lets me build freighters. And freighters are great because I can send them somewhere and uh, get money for trading with other civilizations. And the way that works is I literally left click on them and then mm -hmm. I right click on an alien planet, which as you can probably there's got to be one around here somewhere well there is one i have met the you're going to try and trade with the drenjin empire Great. yes our old friends the drenjin yay now it does look like what's the uh the purple over there there's no planet in there though though no nope, somewhere back here i mm -hmm. have met another race in fact let's go over here okay we have met the Dren our the aforementioned drenjin who are not friendly with us no unfriendly Right, but not too bad. They're just a little annoyed because I have a ship in there. Zock is their zone of control. Right. Zock. <laughs> um, because it's kind of interesting. So the computer players, I should say the aliens, mm -hmm. just like human players on internet forums, always assume that the zone or, uh, their sphere of influence is a political boundary. It is not. Right. But since all human players think it is, we thought, well, then the aliens should think it is. Too. Okay. But it All is right. not. Okay. And just like human players get annoyed at he seeing the aliens traveling through their, what they think sure. is their territory. Right. They get it. So do them. But there, and there's nothing you can do about it because it's right. not illegal. It's not illegal. It's there not is, your space. There is no click on them and tell them to get out because right. they have the right to go through there. Right. But they still get annoyed. <laughs> The Yor are neutral. Okay, they're the purple guys. They're the purple guys. And the Altarians are also unfriendly because we are pragmatic and they are goody two-shoes. Oh, they wanted us to be benevolent and we didn't play ball. Well, that's all right. You can, yeah, in fact, you can go click on them, go to report and find out all about them. Nice. And so, here we go, they're benevolent. She they're looks cool. angry, though. Eh, she looks snobby to me. <laughs> okay, that's that could be it. And so you get uh, they're they're content, they're influential, they're fast, they're clever, they're really good, but they're they're a little fragile. Hmm. Physically fragile. What does that mean? Fragile. Their ships just aren't as durable. Okay. All right. Which is good. If we get in a war with them, they won't have as many hit points. Gotcha. So uh, now one of the things that when you trade with someone, it does make them like you a little bit more. Okay. So who should we trade? with? I think... I don't even know. Oh, I, there. I see a little dotted line. So they must be down here. The Altarians. My goodness. Oh, we seem to only have one option at the moment. Right. We have one. Well, we could go. We can send them down here. Okay. And Or into here. We know that they're in here. We know the right. are over here. We know right. the Drenjin are over here. And we know the Altarians are over here. Okay. So who do you want me to send them to? Uh, let's go to the Altarians. All right. So we're, I'm just going to send it into this mess over here. And okay. Over here. All right. Right into the fog of war. Right. Nice. So, um, another thing is, so let's go ahead and talk to one of these guys. All right. Let's talk to the Drench. Okay. Because I don't like the fact they're unfriendly. And how's their military power? They have ships. They yeah. are looking good. So let's let's talk to them. Oh, we're not ready to trade with them yet. Nope. Can I tra talk to anyone yet? Ah. I can talk to them. So, what do they got? What do they have? We are doing better than them at... at I'm glad I have this on easy. Um, <laughs> I have more tech than they do. And I, I say that because there is more tech on my side. This is me. Mm -hmm. And this is what they got. Okay, yeah. So... So what, we what can we look at that. Remember the Promethean Pleasure Park? Yeah. I'm interested. I'm still interested because the human. Remember Earth? They're mad. Yeah. 
they're still mad. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I care about the earth. Sure. I just don't care. Care. I don't care. Care. Yeah. But I, I if, if if I can now, of course, certain. I just asked them to give it to me, and they won't. <laughs> so see, I, he says you must be joking. So we got to offer something back. Yeah, you know, ironically, it's once in a while they will let me do this if they're scared enough of me. But they are clearly not afraid. not afraid of you at all. But they do have. Some... Why do they have a pleasure palace? Do they? Well, isn't that? Oh, that's Prometheon. I that's see. That's just a resource. I see. I, they're not necessarily using it. I see. In fact, I don't think they can because they're robots. Gotcha. Let's see if I can get away with this. No. All right. <laughs> that's because I fixed this. In an earlier beta, you could actually do this. I see. They don't want open borders. Uh, no, they will. I mean, they'll take it. Yeah. Oh, right. But not for their Prometheon. No. What's another thing we could give them? Well, I could give them Earth. No. Oh, no? I, I they'll take that. Yeah, they'll take it. I'm sure. All right, so double, I just click on it to make it go back. Okay. It was worth a try. Uh, now, what if we wanted to give them one of our techs? Would we lose that tech? No, no. They We're just sharing the tech. Okay. Uh, how about, well... Well, this they guy's have... a new trading partner. Yeah, let's. That... How about that? All right. Hey. They'll take that. They will gladly take that. Well, okay. Offer. Yes, but gladly means I bet I can get something more out of them. Right? I mean, someone says gladly. Right, so that's I'm a good go point. And see how much money they'll give me. They will give me 226 more credits. Sure. There we go. I'll take it. Why not? All right. Hooray! And then, let's see, can I talk to them? I can. What do they got? Now, if you accidentally clicked on, it's time for us to go to war, can, is, there a, is there a way to get out of that? Uh, you would probably want to go to a save game. Okay. I think. <laughs> I, I, I haven't tried that. All so, right. Because I, I, unfortunately, I, 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 when I go to war, I don't declare it. I just sneak it down. You just go. You yeah, just, I just, just it. go it. All right. Um, so what do they got here? Five percent. I like that. And they have some techs. Mm -hmm. and this makes me nervous. They're pretty militaristic. Yeah, for what's a happening? Bunch of space hippies. Right. <laughs> what's happening here? She is wearing full metal armor, apparently. That is true. Yes, it's actually the uh, the vague reference to the Sorcerer King, but that's a different story. Oh, I see. We'll be talking about Sorcerer King. Later. Yeah, we'll be Not making tutorials thing. for those in other videos. Yes. I Well, I am interested in getting some of this tech. Let's see. I wonder if I gave them Universal Translator, because I would let them start dealing with other civilizations. Okay. I don't know if I want that. And this. Still not good enough. Still not good enough. Oh, this. All right. And see if they can give them any money. That's kind of a bug. There we go. Here's a math error. I see. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. All right. Hooray. So we've come to an agreement with two folks. Yeah, you know, though, I now one of the things you can't do, though, is that once you go and talk to them, you have to wait mm. a while to talk to them again. Mm-hmm. So I can't just immediately go and talk to them again. Right, because now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't give them a uh, open borders, share open mm -hmm. borders with them. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is when I go back to diplomacy, mm -hmm. you see I have an open borders? Yeah. They like me now. Yeah, yeah, they do. And They're still unfriendly. They're still unfriendly because I can't talk to them. Right. And they're still unfriendly. Mm. But the your... That you're like me now. Well, that's But that's I'm sending something. a freighter, freighter over here, so that might help. Might help. Look, there's a planet there you could colonize eventually. Where? Uh, down in the lower left Oh, there. down here? Oh, yeah. Good luck getting to that before them. But I'll try, maybe. There's still Mars. There's still Mars, right? Right. I did colonize this planet. Yeah, here, nice. But I was too slow to get this resource. They've already... Oh. The Grangian have already built a star base. And look yes. where they built it. They talk about... Yes. They, you know, computer brain. <laughs> yes. They built it just perfectly to get both resources. So they built a mining ring, and they were able to mine both of those resources, right? Yep. And this is, unfortunately, this antimatter is a bad news for me. Mm. Because this will, they, antimatter will let them build prototype 
antimatter missiles okay. right off the bat, so they could become a, a real pain in the butt. Now, what if you were able to capture an ascension crystal and a resource? How would you go about uh, uh, getting both of the, reaping well, the, the benefits news, from well, The bad both. news is that that's not an issue anymore because no. the dredge took it. Darn it. Yes. But they have built a star base, I would presume, here? Yeah. In, this fo in the fog war. In the, yeah. And they're taking this and this. Okay. With it. So they're they're doing it. How are they doing it? Did they have to build both a mining ring and a, yep. a what's it called? They had to do two things. So they a research ring or something like that. Um, it's an I built one over here because I found this cultural relic. Oh, okay. So what they I have on here is I built an archaeological. Lab. I see. So they had to put they had to send a second constructor to that existing star base. Okay. To do that. And you can actually upgrade. Go click on your star base, request a constructor. And that will order one of the, your shipyards to just build one. Oh, build very one. nice. So let's see. I don't have any weapons. I think I'm going to make a little bit of a U-turn here. And I'm going to start worrying a little bit about weapons. Because there's some uh, people out there who may not have the best intentions for right. you. So we're going to see weapon specialization. I, a specialization means I can only pick one thing. You can't builds you can't be both great at accuracy and miniaturization and um cost at least not right away i assume well later on you can't you'll get additional options to do okay. that but you can't once you pick one of these the other two options disappear oh okay so you can't go and it's remember that your civilization is what is comes easy for your civilization mm -hmm. right? Techno it's not like we in real life we pre-know Technology is sure. way ahead in the future. So right. this is really an artificial way for us to say, well, we humans chose to go down a particular path. I'm going to go and choose to make my for cheaper weapons. Okay. And I think I should probably design a ship. Oh, awesome. Let's so, design a ship. All right. So I'm going to click on the designer. Okay. Now, as you can see, I, at this part of the game, the game has one ahead and design some ships for me. Okay. Like the freighter, which mm -hmm. I just use their freighter. Sure. It's fine. It looks good. It's yeah. just carrying a bunch of uh, stuff. Yeah, look at this guy. He's got a bunch of laser cannons nice. on there. Nice, nice. We have this guy who's got, it's a bigger ship. So this one here is tiny. Mm -hmm. And this one, actually they're both, uh, so why has he got so much more? I think this, oh, this guy's just, oh, I see, he's a prototype. I was like, how did he get so powerful? <laughs> right, and the answer for that is, so this uh, prototype assassin here, mm -hmm. he has, remember that Illyrium yes. resource? I got it, and I put a, a now, which means I can only build one of this ship. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to use it on a tiny ship. Right. I don't want to put it on a bigger ship. So it's, here's a prototype bomber. So I have a antimatter missile on it. If I, which I don't have antimatter, but if I, if you did, guardian. But you can see this is what t it shows you though. Like if I capture Illyrium, mm -hmm. this is why you want to capture these resources. Mm -hmm. That early on, oh my, you know, so this is like, let's talk about the drenching. They have that antimatter. I do not. Mm -hmm. So they could build, basically. Where is that? Uh, this guy, not this guy this guy and see how he can do 16 attack yeah whereas my regular ship can do four okay so he would die yeah badly yeah so you're going to go ahead and design something new i'm going to design something new so i'm going to come down here to new design okay and i can see these are the types of hulls i have available to me what are you going to build well tiny is cheap mm -hmm. but tiny which means they don't have any hit points on them mm-hmm so you can actually see when I click on one of these guys, uh, their hit points are, uh, where are my cost, whole size, moves. Hit points is 26.3. Where am I? Where are you looking? Uh, it's the third one down on the oh, list. Oh, yeah. See, I should lose my. <laughs> so 26.3 hit points. And it's, it's I'm, I apologize that we have fractional numbers here, but why is it not 20? Normally, they're only 25. But remember that Xanthium deposit on the Oh, uh, Yes. So, it, so it's already coming into effect. We got a little bit effect. of extra. Yay. Yeah. So Good for hooray. us. So 
you know, we could have just not had that, but it's nice to go, oh, yeah, the Xanthian deposit. That's cool. Right. And that may come in handy next time when you have 1.3 hit points left. I feel like because the Drenjin are out there and they don't love us, maybe we should just build the biggest, baddest uh, ship that we possibly can. Well, unfortunately, we humans, we have figured out only how to build three types of ships. Okay. We have the tiny, which yep. are water tiny. They're tiny, right? Small is still pretty small. Mm-hmm. So think of a tiny sh one of these guys being yep. like the size of a, I don't know, like an, an F-22. Okay. Um, whereas this ship here, this would be like the size of a, like a f small boat. Okay. Uh, I mean, like a, oh, I'm trying to think like a gunboat. A gunboat. All right. In fact, this guy might be called a gunboat. And then we also know how to make cargo hulls, which is unfortunately not very good for battle. They're they pretty have, fragile. Uh, they're yeah. extremely fragile. They get 10 hit points. Mm -hmm. They die like nothing. All right. But they're big. But they're big. So I could load up a bunch of weapons on them, and then they die. But, I mean, I don't even have as many hit points as a fighter. Right. So I guess we're going to make a small. We're going to go with a small. Okay. Now, I kind of like the way this ship looks. Yeah. But I can also, I'm going to go ahead and um, I can then go to the second tab here and add, put stuff on it. All right. Make it look cooler. I do like the way this one looks. Yeah, it's pretty neat. But we can make it look neater. Or worse. Or worse. <laughs> if I was over there controlling it, yeah, so, I'd see, be making I, it look worse. See, I have these little red dots. Mm -hmm. They're like Lego parts. Okay. So I can go here and make this bigger. Oh. Oh, okay. yeah. It puts on both sides because... Because it assumes that you want... To do that. And you yeah. can turn that off if you don't want. Okay. That. Most people don't. And then, I don't know. That's, that's pretty modest. I'm not... Uh, I'm going to... What could I do? Let's see. Uh, I don't want to spend. I could. You could literally spend entire. We we hey, had does that. that. Look cool. That does look cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, to me, of course, people watching this have their own aesthetic. I am sure. Well, people have made stuff. I mean, they of course you get the Enterprise. And the right, Klingons right. And all Voltron. That. I, I've seen I Voltron. Saw Voltron. I've seen uh, Serenity. I've oh, seen. Oh yeah. Uh, Star Destroyers. I've seen a Borg cube. <laughs> we had a ship design contest, and we got some really nice designs uh, that people were making. It's amazing. You can go on um, galsiv3.com into the forums and look for the results of that ship design contest and get some ideas. Uh, and people post their ship design ideas to our forums all the time. Uh, it's really neat to see what people do. Yeah, there's so much talent out there. Talent yeah. I do not have. But I would love to <laughs> harvest it. Brad is a coder. I, mean. like, I do know I, what you if mean. I eat their brains. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. Oh. But much right. the same way I wish that I would get struck by lightning because that would give me superpowers, or so I've read. Or in, and seen. <laughs> I, uh, so, I don't think if you eat their brains, you get their knowledge. That's a, that's a shame. It is. So the cosmetics don't affect the functionality. It's just cosmetics. I've seen people on the internet go, oh, why do you even have that? It's like, well, it's cool. Because it's neat. Didn't she um, ever play with Legos? Yeah, exactly. Maybe they didn't. They didn't play with Legos. Sad. So then we get to the part that actually means something. So you can put wet, you can put engines on it. If I go to equip, and everything uses space. I have 50 slots. Okay. 50 space, 50 right. mass. Sure. And... Um, I don't, well, first of all, I, my personal opinion is I don't usually use thrusters. Um, they're, they're, they're nice because they, uh, they let this, these ships get in there a little bit faster and uh, get more shots off, but they're, I, I, I'm not good enough at the game, that part of the game to make a good use of that. Mm -hmm. The um, hyperdrive, uh, I, I just generally speaking, since I'm doing combat, I'm not in a huge hurry. Okay. So I'm going to not bother with that. Okay. So weapons. Ugh. So I really, well, we're humans. We're in the year 22, 42, probably mm -hmm. still. As a, these are all prototypes, all things I do not have. Oh. Oh, no, I have Drantium. See, it, tells, it shows me what I have. I've got okay. Prometheon. So you could get a Which, prototype. I'm using this for my pleasure park. Oh, look at that. Um. Uh, you could use the durantium. I could use a durantium prototype durantium drive on it. Mm. Right. So, um, I could do that. That would be nice because that would be 
uh, give me eight kinetic attack. Mm -hmm. Or I could put lasers, which give me two. Can you put both? I could. I think you should but just then I load it remember, up. I would only be able to build one of this ship. Oh, I see. Because I only have one of this. I see. So let's see. I don't know what to say about that. You're the expert. What would you do? Uh, <laughs> I would not waste uh, one of these prototypes on a small ship. Okay. I would wait until I had a medium-sized ship that's I like kind of a flagship. I think that makes a lot of sense. So, so you're going to put some lasers on there. Yeah. Now, where I put them on the ship doesn't matter. There's okay. no firing arc concept. We planned it that. Totally not fun. <laughs> Talking about micromanaging. or I mean, everyone's watching their fleet battles. And right. Just, right. That went away. Um. So, but it, I do like the, I like to have my gun, a gun on the front. Mm -hmm. No, no, I, no, where do I, I, how about right here? There's one here. Okay. I mirrored it. That's cosmetic. Yep. Um, and I can fit another one right there. Okay. And I can still fit more. Good. I don't know if there's anything else I want to put on this ship. So. What are the other categories? See filling up? Mm -hmm. Well, over here I have defenses. So I could put on some defenses on the ship. You may want and those. You know what I will? I'm going to put some deflectors because okay. I will probably be dealing with pirates. Oh, yeah. Those So even pirates. if I don't have to deal with... The pirates always... They have lasers. Mm -hmm. And that makes my ship have four attack and four defense. I also have life support, which increases my range. That I have a feeling I'm going to need that. Okay. I hate that, though. <laughs> Manufacturing costs for... I better just do it. <sighs> Kills me. Remember, this is for our viewers, not for for Brad's uh, gameplay. All right. Yeah. Well, I, I I'm gonna I need it. There's just no way around it. And then these are like other special stuff. See, I could I could also use Durantium to upgrade my hull. Ah. Durantium's great. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but I'm not putting any prototypes onto a small. But I think, can I fit one more laser on? I can. I can fit another laser on. So I'll put a cannon right, I don't know, right here. Nice. And that's it. Oh, I'm at 49 out of 50. I'm not adding anything, anything else. So that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a name. What should we? What do you want to call our ship? I liked Battle Axe. Uh, what do you think? Uh, Let's call it the um, P Pablo Picasso. All right. Something warlike. <laughs> yeah, it's something warlike. I don't think. Hey, you're a you're a you're a tool of murder. So, Congratulations. So the doomsday machine. That seems a little grandiose considering it's a small hull. Yeah. Uh, I don't. How about the battle axe? Ah, uh, that's one of the default names. Oh, how about the, all right. You know what? The real grand. Okay. And then um. Then you can just, now when you have a bunch of ships in battle, how do you want them to behave? And there's a lot. Ah. Generally speaking, if you're a new player, don't touch this. Okay. But once you're experienced, you can actually walk through here and see how it will behave in battle. Without you telling it what to do. Right. You don't micromanage the ships in battle. Okay. But you do get to control how they perform. I think escort is probably not. Well, I know escort's actually pretty good. Okay. Because an escort ship, it tries to, def like, here's an example. If I put a colony ship, mm -hmm. and I have these guys in here, what do I want them to do? You want them to escort. I want them to protect that ship. Okay. If I made them assault ships, they'd go, bye. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> See ya. All right. We're off the, I can make them assault ships and they'd right. go run off and, and not assault care things. About, yeah. While other things went through and killed the, uh, right. So I, escort's pretty good. Okay. So we're going to come out, leave here, and then, uh, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm still building a colony ship. We're going to build a real grand. Okay. Next, after our colony ship is done. Yep, and you can build a real grand, and then I'm going to go up to govern again. Mm-hmm. And I think it's time to start putting a little bit more into manufacturing. How much am um, I, I still have 718... It's amazing how fast it goes. Dollars. Yeah, credit. Billion <laughs> credits. Oh, oh, not just dollars, I see. <laughs> oh, gosh, I really need factory, too. Can I buy it? I can still buy it. Yeah, I'm really thinking I wish Earth... Oh, I don't have the money. I want that. Because <laughs> it's now upgrade. Look at that, though. 
look how much I'm now doing on this planet. That's great. So Earth, you've come a long way. The net income is not looking good. No, I am losing. Oh, I'm only losing four per turn. That's a long time. That is a long time that you can go before you're bankrupt. Now, what happens if you get to zero? Uh, then it will force you to put all your money into wealth. Uh, okay. So let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot about our, the bloodhound. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There, hey, there's a your scout ship and there's some pirate fleets. So we're going to go back. We're going to go up this way. Good plan. Oh, and there we are. See, there you guys are moving around. And, he, and so I'm just watching that this stuff's happening. Hello, ship. All right, at this point, since I know where stuff is, mm -hmm. I'm going to t command him to go survey. Good. And then I don't have to even bother. He'll so, just go places and do things? Yep. All right. So let's see how we're doing compared to everyone else. I have graphs. So I got hey. uh, faction power. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm actually doing, I'm number one. Nice. Yeah. In fact, if I click up here, see, we're in first place. Very good. The Drenjin are close behind. Yep. Planets. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, sorry, that's the mini map. Uh, economic power. Mm -hmm. So you can see we've all spent through <laughs> <Yes>. our treasury. <laughs> and now the Drenjin especially. Yep. Some more so than others. Yep. Military power. Ooh. So the Drenjin have military yes, power. Yes, they is do. What this means. Yep. Population. We're all the Yor are not doing so well because nope. uh, uh, they don't reproduce biologically. They have to manufacture themselves. Right. All right. Influence. Nice. So we're doing well there. Total production. And manufacturing and research. So the Yor are not doing super well. Nope. So let's keep an eye on the power thing here, because no one's gonna give me too much lip as long as I'm pretty powerful. So how what is Iconia up to here? They're not terribly happy. No, they're not. Well, yeah, they're not terribly happy, probably because they. Uh, so look at that. So Iconia is doing fifteen point four research. How's Earth doing? So they're doing more research than us. Twenty-two. So that, yeah, their home planet. They're doing better on their home planet mm -hmm. than we are. On the other hand, they don't have Mars, and of course, neither do we have <laughs> Mars. <clears throat> We could have Mars. Yep, any day now. Unless the Drenjin come along or somebody else and colonizes it. Yep. Oh, they're telling me they're annoyed. Oh, we're annoyed. Yep. All right, thank you. Please stop f f going through our zone of influence. Negotiate open, you know, borders treaty. And what's sad is that, you know what's actually traveling through there? A freighter. To go trade, w trade with them. Yeah, they're snobs. How dare they? Yes, I think we should kill them. I, I don't think we should kill them. Okay. I, I don't think we should kill a person just because they're a snob. Yeah. All right. So how are we doing over here? Now, one of the things that we recently got, when I researched planetary improvement, I got a soil upgrade, which mm -hmm. is nice because I can click on this and it will highlight tiles that I can make better. So you can basically add tiles to or make tiles that are, are improved improvable within reason yes so i can't suddenly you'll notice that none of these highlight tiles are on their space ocean right right so i'm going to go ahead and pick here because okay. then i'll have the tiles adjacent right right all right all is well oh so he's building I'm you're done you, yeah you got nothing in your i have your nothing queue. on this Miserable little planet. <laughs> but they're still pretty happy. They're pretty happy. Their influence is pretty good. They've got more, the biosphere is... For, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, they're not doing very much research for us. Maybe we should uh, get them to do some research. Yeah. Though, uh, to be honest, I would like more factories. Actually, I would like... There we go. Adjacency. Okay. 
So I don't tend to queue, as you can see, I don't tend to queue up my stuff. You, I wanna... you like to manage it each turn. Yes. All right, here. I, my colony ship is now done. Yay. Hey, buddy. What are you so, going to do with it? Well. <laughs> now, what about that one over in the... Here? Low, yeah, what, what is that? So oh, this that requires a tech. a perfect planet, but mm -hmm. it's radioactive. Oh. It's a little bit... There. Apparently, its sun is just not so great. Right. Okay. But if we can deal with radioactivity, it's amazing. Okay. Can we? No. Oh. We have to get technology to clear that. I see. The good news is, our, the Yor, I don't think, have that problem. Because they're robots. Oh, so we probably shouldn't even worry about that planet. They'll be able to colonize it. Yay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Not yay. Hey. There's a their survey right there. Mm -hmm. One of the things I'd probably like to do, except it, in fact it annoys them, is I would like to keep an eye on what these... I like to build stuff and keep an eye on what they're building. Yeah. Uh, because that tells me a lot where what their plans are. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Let's go back to our idle ship. So what do you want to do? Is it Mars time? Is it Mars time? Is the, is What about that other planet over in this the... This one here? Yeah. Well. That's better than Mars. It's better than Mars, but it's... It's in somebody else's away, zone of and control. And if I send this yeah. ship all the way over there and I lose, someone else could come over here and get Mars. That's true. So are you suggesting, perhaps, based on your uh, knowledge of the game... Mars I, might be the better it's choice. Tough. The one thing I will say about Mars mm -hmm. is that it'll be another planet to feed into this shipyard. Well, that's true. That's I will, true. Let's go ahead and All right. We will finally colonize Mars. There we go. And there's something on here. Hey, what's that? It Crystallized is, delirium. It'll improve our shields, which is nice because we're putting deflectors okay. on that ship we're building, on the Rio Grand. Very nice. Otherwise, it's... Uh, So we're going to Okay. Oh, there's a planet. But it's not the one I want. I mean so how the amount of money you make from a trade rod is based on distance because right. that means it's probably more exotic. Okay. And how many people are on the planet to trade with. Mm-hmm. But this is not the planet you want. Do you want to go to their home world? Is that what you're looking for? Generally, I do. I mean, okay. this is like, you know, it's got 4.1 billion. It's class 12. It's nice. But, and plus, this is my opportunity to kind of spy on them. And sort of oh, oh, I see. Oh, there's Altaria. Look at that. And what are they built here? The what is that? Wood over water. That is a. It is a trade ship. It's a trade ship. It's a okay. freighter. So Very is, nice. Yeah, look how theirs is pretty. Theirs is much prettier, and, and apparently and like more fragile. Name. So our ship is called the fr freighter, <laughs> and theirs is called wood over water. Okay. I'm going to double click on this guy. Wood over water. So the it, it's funny. More style than us. It looks, it has a lot of the same function and looks in some ways vaguely similar to the Terran ship, but boy, is it prettier. It is prettier. Yeah, I know. It's it's sad, isn't it? Uh, it is a little sad. Yeah. That's okay. Maybe we can trade something with them where we, we, we can trade aesthetics. I don't think so. No, probably not. All right. He's off somewhere. Hopefully he's going to uh -oh. Earth. Oh. The pirates. And they got a buddy. Oh. They got a sniper in Darn there, it. too. So let's see. Let's view the battle. Let's see what happens. I don't like it. Darn pirates. Can oh, you? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was like, where is everybody? That's <laughs> right. I have it on. Uh, yeah. Top. Can you set up the game so that there are no pirates in your game? Hey, look at this. So check this out. Yeah. Actually, see. Let's click on this guy. Okay. So he's an interceptor. So they run on ahead, and this is the he support. So why is he support? I don't know. He's bringing well, up the rear. Luckily, the pirates are dumb. Okay. Because, good. But you can actually see this guy should be in the battle. Yep. And he's not yet. He's just hanging around in the back there, waiting for the other guys to get killed. Yeah, we're going to have a lot. I know Stark's going to have a lot of fun with this system over the coming like three or four years. Oh, so, my gosh, yes. Because there's gonna, this is going to get so sophisticated where you're going to be able to have modules on ships and the AI that require a charge-up, and you're going to need to you know, put a little bit of thought of this to really master it. I mean, regular people won't need to worry. You know, casual players won't make a difference. Right. You're dead, buddy. All right, so... 
He did damage me. He did. I think I can actually see damage to the ship, maybe. They got your underside, I think. Yeah, I can't see it from yeah. here. Yeah. But he's hurting. All right. Meanwhile, the, remember this? Oh, we got our thing here. Yay. We can come over here and... This over here is a black hole. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, and, but you can't do you can't travel around it. There is a Prometheon, which reminds me. Remember Earth? What about our Prometheon pleasure park? Whatever it is, right? Where is that? There it is. The hey, hey, hey. Remember people? Hey, my approval was up to fifty-five. Hey, that's pretty good. Why Let's build it, a pleasure park and see what happens. Here's my question: Why is it up to fifty-five? Remember they're on they're at forty-five earlier. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what makes people happy or unhappy. Yes, well, I am now, pro I'm providing four goodies. Right. You know, I must, I traded something, old oh, with one of the civs earlier. But let's see, all right, Connie Cabell, Large Empire, and so, Civilization Capital bonus. Ah, I don't, oh, you know why? There aren't as many people. <laughs> oh, you've been taking them I away. I took them off the planet. When we were when we building the colony ship. Yeah, okay. Okay. So let's put a Promethean Pleasure Park over here. Can you accidentally take away too many people? Um, What's depending? Can you? Can, well, are you well, I mean, I No, I'm, I'm asking you, <laughs> will the game allow you to depopulate? You can't depopulate your, It's always okay. a percentage. Okay. Okay, so we have built a constructor too. Is there anything we? Gosh, they have been really aggressive at taking nice stuff. They're in the lead. Yeah. Oh, there's something over here. I would really like to get. Remember the Illyrian yeah. beam weapon thing? I would like that. Yeah, they. And the, oh, you're right. The dredging came out ahead. So let's see if I can. I sent him over there. So remember, left mouse button, and I can drag the map around. Very nice. Hey, and hey. our colony ship is Altaria. Now, all you did was take your colony ship and... Freighter. Fr I'm sorry, your freighter, and and uh, pointed it right at Altaria, right? Yep. Okay. and it took care of the rest. All right. Just don't do that with a warship. Okay, because you'll be starting a war, I assume. Yeah. And now when I go to diplomacy and I right mouse over here, mm -hmm. they, they're they cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But we're trading with each other. So... We get a plus. Okay. So let's go talk to them. And they still don't want to talk to us. No. They really don't. You are trading with an infidel. Uh, right. We are. They yes. don't like. They definitely do not like. They don't like the Al Altarians. Well. And, yeah. So that, so there is a, a little bit of a downside. But the I still have the open borders. Can I talk to these guys? Yes. Let's do the, definitely do open borders. Okay. Look at the snobby. Yeah, well, yeah. Sub drengen species. Yes. They're you know, impressed with you know, our here's wisdom. The hypocrisy, right? <laughs> if I called them subhuman, they'd get right. You know, they'd, they'd be, be all, 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 they're, they're, all they're, they're, It's okay for them to say sub uh, sub drengen. I'm getting on Twitter, and the next drengen <laughs> I see, I want to point that out. I, I'm gonna Good plan. I'm going to screenshot this. Okay. As evidence. Yes. All right. What else? But why were, since we won't get to talk to them again for a while, mm -hmm. what should we. I would really like improved logistics. Okay, let's give that a shot. They're probably not going to, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty important tech. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that didn't even budget. <laughs> I am not giving you kinetic weapons, buddy. Yeah, really. We, the last thing we need is for you to have. Uh, and I'm not so, giving you more so you can get more tech. And I'm not, oh, crap. You know, we may not be getting this tech after. How about money? No, he's, he's just... I, you know, I miss the beta. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, in the beta, you could really game it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I should be able to just double click on this and make this go away. Oh, well. Make a note to request that. Note noted. All right. Well, what else could I get? How about money? You could use some money. There we go. Open borders. That will help. Excellent. And we're up to So we have drawing. open borders with the Yor and the Drengen, but not with Altaria, with whom we are trading. They won't let it because we didn't use that opportunity. Yes. The good news is, is that they are currently 
No one is on us for not having a military yet. Well, that's good. And we just got kinetic weapons. Woohoo! Boy, it makes the... Uh, here's the irony. So the Rio Grande is now obsolete before it's been constructed. <laughs> <Right. laughs> nice. So that's one of the things you have to bear in mind when you're doing you're designing your ship. Yeah. So let's go up and... Uh, Life support will give me more ship range. Ion drive will give me faster engines. You know, it's about this time in the game I start getting, uh, it's hard, it gets harder to make those decisions about those techs because I feel like I need everything. You do, and you do. And I can't have everything. So what do I really need? Do I don't I... know. Well, let's look through our options because I imagine if you're this way and I'm, I'm this way, mm -hmm. others. So let's, so advanced construction will lead us to zero G uh, scaling, which okay. is a very nice thing to have. Uh, I mean, it gives me zero G scaling. Mm -hmm. uh, it lets me get the uh, practical fusion and construction optimization, which are basically lets me build stuff faster. Well, at this point, are you have you chosen how you'd like to win the game? I have not. Okay. You know, and one of the reasons for that is I seem to be getting along better with the the malevolent robots and yes, the, you are. the skin eating yeah, mo yeah, uh, yeah. space monster people right and the right. very beautiful but fairly uh, uh snobby snobby yeah. altarian yes hmm all right so given that we haven't decided how we'd like to win the game yet um and we will win the game i assume um, <laughs> I assume, hey, if Brad Wardell is playing, surely he will win. Uh, yeah. So do you want to uh, put a stop here and then we can move into the more advanced phase? I think that's a good idea. All right. So we'll come back uh, once we actually have decided how we're going to win this game. Exactly. And then we'll talk about some of the advanced things that you can do to play the game. Thank you.